Guys, do you remember what an iDog looked like? It was literally the worst speaker. It sounded like short wave radio. You know what I mean? Like, like walkie talkie type shit. Like this. Like I'm talking right now. That's how this radio is sound. Cricket anyway, okay. Well, I'm not gonna redo that. Guys, we all played with toys in the past. And as children, and let me just clarify that, we've all played with toys in the past. Now, today we're gonna be re revamping. I don't know the word. So we are gonna be revisiting the past, talking about what, I mean, you guys really can talk about it, but I'm gonna be talking about what I used to use in the past as a children and play with as toys. Besides knives and fire, because I was a, what is it? There's a word for that with a kid who just loves lighting shit on fire. I used to love going to the bike path and just throwing rocks at the fence. Okay guys, this is gonna be a two-part video. It's gonna be a two-part, oh, that's hard. But if this video gets so many likes, I'll get the video out quicker of me actually buying the stuff and maybe even trying out again because some stuff, I don't even know if they make shit anymore. So the first childhood memory product, whatever you wanna call it, we have today, Heelys. Guys, if you've never played with Heelys, so let's go to the website. Get it by Christmas, 22 days. Guys, you hear it first, you hear, you've seen it here first. If you guys want me to do a part two of me actually getting the stuff, 22 days, 20 hours, 14 minutes, and 20 seconds until Christmas. No, until you get it. it Bro, they light up. Are you joking? Look, they're saying get it by Christmas. So if you guys want to see this, okay, first we have is the original Heelys wheeled shoe. Um, we're obviously gonna go to men's because I'm a grown man looking at Heelys in 2020, almost 2021 in the pandemic. I think I bought some camouflage ones or multi. SpongeBob Heelys, you joking? Dude, Heelys is really going out of their way. Imagine me just pulling up on Heelys at your event. Let's be honest, okay? They look cool, but as soon as you see someone with Heelys, you're gonna bully them. When Heelys were out of style in 1942, people started bullying the people who still had Heelys. They're like, oh yeah, put, put your wheel in, put your wheel in. <laughs> Pop your wheel in and wheel off, bro. I'm kind of liking these. I'm liking the premium one lows. They light up too. Look at that, 10 men's. I used to, I think I did own a pair of Heelys, but I was really late on the trend to the point where it wasn't cool anymore and and people would slap me when I walked by wearing Heelys or they'd kick something underneath my heel and I would literally just go flying. Wait, I didn't have any cool ones. Let me see if I can try to find the pair that I had. Maybe the, I think I had these. I definitely had a pair of Heelys. I, I, was, I was definitely cool back then. <laughs> I just got coffee all over my everything in, in my freaking car right now. And there's coffee on my camera. Oh, that's between the cracks. Oh, ratatouille. Okay, but I wanted to bring, if you can hear me over these people rubbing their fucking engines in the parking garage. <laughs> We're back at Duncan. I usually don't go to this Duncan because we'll be honest, they're not the best. Okay, look. So whenever I go somewhere, I always tip, especially during these during these hard times of, I always send a tip, you know, because uh, of money. I always give a money tip. I'll give them $5 for, for like a $2 coffee, right? I mean, it's not a lot, but I mean, it's like keep the change, you know, so you don't have to worry about giving me change and you know spreading shit you know what i mean you know some people feel the type of way about it right okay whatever i give him five dollars he, and he gives me my change back i'm like all right like i'm not gonna repeat myself and say here here no you can keep the change no if you didn't listen the first time yeah okay well yep that's all i wanted to say that was the best 60 seconds of my life next childhood product we have we have is ipod i'm not gonna buy an ipod because i have an iphone Let, let's look up some ipods no i want the ipod with the with the metal back guys okay quick story time if you've had an iphone ipod Please let me know if this happened to you guys. I don't know if it's because I didn't just wash my hands as much as a child, because I never wash my hands. Let's just be honest. Children don't wash their hands. Sorry. I never wash my hands as a child. You know how the back of the iPods, they were like a shiny like material, right? You know what I'm talking about if you don't. I'll bring it up if you don't. Literally this right here. Tell me why that iPod back would literally just stink. It would literally smell so bad. Like I said, I don't know if it's because I just didn't wash my hands. And that's why I'm in this fucking pandemic. <laughs> And it's like, I'd clean this shit. I'd put alcohol in it and everything. So the third on the list, we have skip it. A skip it is you put it around one leg, pretty much just go in a circle with that leg and jump over the thing. So it's like, you're kind of just being active. Never had one. If you guys want me to buy it and try it out, that's awesome. This is the one I wanted to talk about. An eye dog. Guys, do you remember what an eye dog looked like? This is what it looked like. It was literally the worst speaker. It sounded like a fucking short wave radio. You know what I mean? Like, like walkie talkie type shit. Like this. Like I'm talking right now. That's how this radio would sound. It would light up color. How long was the hype train on these? Like probably like a couple like a year maybe? Did it not walk? If you ever played Club Penguin, that's another exception. Ex obsession? Excuse me? What did you say? Exception. But my biggest obsession as a child and childhood memories, whatever you want to call this video, Club Penguin was the biggest obsession. Minecraft was up there, but Club Penguin and YouTube were my biggest obsessions because I would always be on YouTube looking at all this stuff, but then playing, it was definitely Club Penguin. I just love talking with my hands. 
I love it. But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a com comment if I touched on anything that was on your past. That sounded weird. Um, me, me and you related in some way during this video. Comment if, comment if I mentioned something that you played with in your past. Is that, bro, this, why does this sound so weird to say? Is that weird? Put it in the comment section. Put something that you were obsessed with in the comment section besides me. Of what you were obsessed with as a child in the comment section. God, this is my 50th time saying that. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Subscribe if you want to. I mean, it's, it's your option. You can always unsubscribe if you don't want to, if you don't want to anymore. It helps me out. And like this video to get it recommended more. And I want you to be updated. And I want you to follow me everywhere else. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.